Hi, I'm Sana, and welcome to another episode of the Elder Scrolls Online in chronological order. Um, this is the Mage's Guild edition, <laughs> I guess you can call it, um, where I am going to showcase the entire questline of the Mage's Guild before we do the Fighter's Guild and then eventually go into Cold Harbor. Uh, I already did one episode prior to this, and I did that whilst I didn't realize at the time uh, not having done any of my faction zones. Like if we look at the map now, uh, you can see that I've done a lot of my, all, my own faction. In fact, I finished it. So um, the quests are done. Not the map completion, but the quests are done in all the faction zones. Um, and I hadn't, I don't think I even went into Shadowfen. Like I did like maybe two zones when I recorded the first episode of the Mage's Guild. And I did at some point realize like, wait a minute, <laughs> I am not nearly done. So, um, I think the Rift was the final one. Uh, so in the normal playthrough, we finished the Rift. So now I'm going to record the quest line for the Mage's Guild. So. I also look a little bit different than I did when I recorded the first episode. My level is different, my skills are different. And at the time of recording, I have also purchased an entire new PC. So I have also been messing with my add-ons again, trying to get them as they were, because I was a big dum-dum and I didn't back up my files. <laughs> Basically, when I uh, transferred everything to a new PC, I did not back up these files for the add-ons and whatnot. I forgot what my audio settings were for the dialogue and um, the skill effects sound. So um, I hope everything is okay. Uh, and I hope that the quality of the video is good. Like I tried to bump it up a little bit as well, because now that I got a, bit, a better uh, graphics card and a better uh, processor, I figured I can probably push the quality of the videos for the, of the recordings a little bit now as well. So hopefully from here on, it's going to look nice <laughs> or better, I hope. Um, so with that said, um, do let me know if the audio is off, if anything is weird. Uh, I'm going to keep on monitoring it, but yeah, well, when it's up, it's up, right? And I can't fix it anymore. So it will be in a, a, a later episode somewhere down the line where I tweak things again. But do let me know. Uh, for now, let's go talk to Falas. Like, what did we do in the first episode? Let's recap a little bit, because for me, it's been a few months actually since I recorded it. Um, we met with Sheogorath, we met with Shalador, we met with Falast. Uh, we got a book, and Falast has been, I think, uh, reading that book, right? She had to decipher it. Uh, it's probably a bunch of gibberish. Combined with some cheese, I guess. <laughs> Since, you know, Shergoroth likes his cheese. So uh, let's see what she has to say. Shalador found you. Good to see you again. I've deciphered the spell inside the book. Are you prepared for Shergoroth's first test? All right, yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. It's been fascinating to work with Shalador. Even though he can't read the book, he's been an invaluable resource. I had to decipher layers upon layers of meaning hidden within the tome. Okay, so Shadowdor is here. Yes, speak with the Archmage. He's meditating on the challenges ahead. I'm still somewhat drained from my efforts, so he'll open the portals to the Shivering Isles for you. Thanks, Falast. Auriel, watch your steps. I'm very excited about this project. Shalador's sanctuary would be a boon to every mage in Tamriel. Even Guildmaster Vanus approves of our work here. I guess that means a lot. So what can you tell me about the book? I'm so glad you asked. On the surface, it's a simple book of nursery stories from the Dunmerland of Stonefalls. But that's just on the surface. Okay, so it's more than children's stories? So much more. Each story has hidden meanings, clever references to arcane lore, twisting and turning into the depths of history. It was fascinating to fully unlock the secrets of the book. Sheogorath may be a madman, but he's also a genius. Right. And where am I going exactly? Not much. We tried to scry into oblivion to get a sense of the place. I couldn't see anything, but I was swept up in a strong sense of homesickness. Okay, where are you from? I came of age where most high elves do. The beautiful green shores of the Somerset Isles. I often think of the pink petals and soft breezes of my homeland. I'm not sure why those memories return to me today, though. 
Hmm, interesting. I can't wait until we actually start diving into DLC. Somerset was a really pretty DLC. I really enjoyed that. Morrowind might have been my favorite, um, but Somerset is a very close second. I can't, I can't wait until we actually get to see something new. <laughs> of course, Adept. While investigating some ruins for me, you caught the notice of Archmage Shalador, ancient patron of mages everywhere. We're working with him to complete the Mad God Sheagorath's trials and recover Shalador's lost sanctuary. Okay, what's the sanctuary like? Ivea, it's called. Right. In ages past, it was an island in the Somerset Isles. Set aside for mages from across Tamriel, Shalador worked tirelessly to make it a sanctuary and just barely escaped when Sheagorath claimed it. Has he spoken at all about how the sanctuary was lost? He still won't tell me what happened. I gather there was some kind of bargain between them and Sheogorath came out the better. What's it like working with Shalador? A genuine pleasure. He has a fascinating view of history from a first-hand perspective. And his knowledge of the deeper mysteries is... Well, I feel like an apprentice again. <laughs> Alas, are you enjoying this more than you're letting on? Adept, what transpires between myself and the Archimagus <laughs> is between us and no one else. I don't need to answer your questions or anyone else's. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Alright, let's set this quest active, actually, because, uh, uh, help, not here, here. Uh, guilt, there we go. Let's set this quest active, it's easier to track for me. Hello, Shalador. The brazier is ready. The last prepared it precisely, according to my instructions, of course. Right, what's the brazier for? We're having trouble opening a portal directly there. So we created this anchor to help us. Some trickery of Sheogorath's, no doubt. The next time around, I'm sure this won't be an issue. I just realized that he sounds exactly like the king that we uh, have been questing with, like in the rift and all that. He sounds exactly like, what was his name, Emmerich? He sounds exactly like him. It's probably the same voice actor. <laughs> He's got that R that's like in the back of his throat. I don't know how to explain that really properly. But he has a certain accent that he does with the R specifically. And he's this this guy's got the same the same accent, so it must be the same voice actor. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready, let's go. Alright, and to the portal. Ah, right on time. Ooh. I love it! If there's one thing I like, it's the pinks and purples and blues in a, in a color scheme. This is exactly my vibe. I love it. Uh, you could probably already tell I like blue to begin with. But, uh, yeah, I absolutely love the pink, blues and purples. <sighs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty basic. <laughs> when it comes to uh, aesthetics, I guess I'm not that much different than many girls. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty. Hm. Alright, Haskell, hi. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that Shalidor person, correct? Yeah, where can I find it? Just a moment, mortal. Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items. Items you must recover. What items? A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. Fork and a staff. Got it. I'd say at your leisure, mortal. But I expect I have more time ahead of me than you do. Mm, probably. What can you tell me about this fork? It's an heirloom. My lord is quite fond of it. Has a bit of magic around it too, I think. I don't know. I don't question Lord Sheogorath. What kind of magic? The fork excites and synergizes magicka around it. When held in the hand of someone more notable than yourself, wow. it can produce dramatic results. In your hand, it might be suitable for conveying roast beef to your mouth. Wow! That's rude, Haskell. That's rude. What if I used the fork to comb my hair, huh? What do you do then? <laughs> and this portal is going to take me where? My lord is certain he lost his utensil somewhere in Skyrim. It was during a visit to his friend Corthor in Vuldengrave. That was during the Marithic era, I believe. The what now? 
My lord visited with Corthor a very, very, very long time ago. Really? What do they teach mortals these days? Not this, but goodbye. I'm going to take the portal now. Oh, it's cold here. Very cold. Is Shalador just with me? He's just chilling with me all this time. All right then. You never forget that smell. A dragon priest's tomb. Okay. All right, let's see what's in the catacombs. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the fork is here as well. Oh. Uh... That chest. Perhaps the fork is in there. Yes, perhaps. Oh yeah. I've been playing on my other warden for uh, <laughs> a bit for doing my dailies and my weeklies and I'm using a lightning staff with that one so every time I'm using a heavy attack I'm just used to immediately see something happening and I forget that this character is using an ice staff so I'm like where's the damage what's happening but no <laughs> ice staff <laughs> you do the no. guild credit with your bravery and dedication adept did not mean to talk to you I meant to interact with the chest you dare steal from me Oh, Crit, Bot, Crit. Ah, Corridor's My away. Peace will make quick work. Who's talking? Laugh, Zinoki. The shadows move, Adept. Watch yourself. Who's talking? I didn't see anyone. Hmm. Eyes to the sky. Another group. Eyes to the sky? Oh, okay. Hey, we leveled up. No time for talk. Kill the dragger. <laughs> Still didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to just loot. <laughs> I just meant to loot. <laughs> Worthless. No matter. Come, face me yourself. I would like to. Yeah. Right. There. Let's the ice barrier is down. Uh, we can flame. get through. Put that there. We can make the points. All right. So aside from me um, being a big dum dum and not backing up um, any add-ons that I had and whatnot, for some reason my mouse also Defeating didn't. Defeating the Draugr open the oh way gosh, into Cortor's tomb. The fork is certain to be either within the tomb itself or in Cortor's bony hand. I still did not mean to talk to you. Why are you so close to me? Defeating no, the... please don't. <laughs> Gate, please. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Door knows no personal space. He's way too close. Uh, as I was saying though, uh, my mouse somehow didn't um, have a profile saved. So all my keybinds that I had saved on the 12 buttons on the side um, were not um, were not present when I hooked it up on the new computer. So I had to uh, change all my keybinds again. So hopefully uh, with muscle memory and everything, I, I got it all set up again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, I was like, huh, this suddenly doesn't work anymore. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> my entire my entire mouse settings were just gone. Whereas my keypad, the Razer Tartarus, they just have a profile and I just immediately took it back when I um, when I installed ah, uh, signups again. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's uh, let's go. The fault is mine. So not Dear me. I mean, I really need the fork, though. I do need the fork. Strike now! Totally not bad at that. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Let's not waste time, shall we? Okay. Uh, yeah, see, like, I just point down and you it immediately snaps to talking to uh, Shadowdor. Like, that guy is way too happy to be in my personal space. Hmm, I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive, even. Thanks. Uh, now what? Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of Desert Sand. Ooh. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Who now? Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, a formidable warrior in his day. That was over a thousand years ago, but still. Right, I'll get the stuff. Sure.
And let's see, where are we? Wow. It sure is sandy here. Oh, you actually have something to say. As I expected. Another resting place for the dead. Shea Gorath has a sick sense of humor. What is this place? This is the necropolis, Asakala. The resting place of Prince Malil. Also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. They crafted magical seals to guard his resting place. Uh, you know how to get past them? Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here? Their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. And how do I capture them? Here, I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Thank you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. They should unlock these scarab seals on the statues nearby. I'll need to consider the other two. Okay, I can do this. This place is incredible. The ancient Red Guards were a noble and accomplished people. Right. Apparently I have questions. What can I tell you, Adept? Uh, how do you know all this? I mean... What sort of yeah. Archmage <laughs> would I be if I didn't? Of course. I spent my mortal life seeking knowledge of all things, not just magic. Yokudan, or as you know them, Red Guard, culture is no exception. If Balast was here, I'm sure she could tell you the same. And what were you saying about the statues? Beneath the statues lie buried the dead of Prince Malil's armies. Their essences have bubbled up from beneath the sands, released by the dangers threatening Alekir today. Okay, so I'm imbuing the essences back into statues. Just so, Adept. The lesser essences you see before you will empower the statues with the orange and green crystals. The statues near the entrance to this complex. I need to consider how we'll empower those two rear statues. Okay, what's up with these essences then? Alakir is under attack. A necromantic cult has disrupted the normal ebb and flow of life and death. The dead that once served Malil are now a way into his tomb. Okay, uh, how we collect them is we basically just uh, kind of run into them. So we got one. We have enemies. Three. You have the essences. And four. Imbue them into one of the scarab seals. There you go. Who dares oh, disturb dear. my slumber? Good. Now to collect four more. Where's he pointing to? There. Okay. And any watchful eye might also realize that I actually do have ESO Plus again. Look, it's there, ESO Plus member. So we get a little bit extra XP for leveling uh, or for uh, just busting and killing, I think, in general. Uh, I got my crafting bag <laughs> back so I can finally uh, gather Final everything, four. loot Imbue everything. Them into the other seal. And I've really missed that. Because I think for like a good amount of episodes, I did not play with ESO Plus. So I stopped looting, I stopped opening treasure chests. Whenever I would do a dungeon for uh, a daily or a weekly, I would just not loot anything just to save myself from the inventory management. Uh, so I'm very happy that I get my crafting bag back <laughs> and I can do all the things again. It's really nice. For such a superstitious, mage hating people, this place is a work of art. Okay, and the other two? Have you observed the sand barriers on those passages in the canyon walls? No. I suspect the prince's generals may be waiting within. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. Uh, how do you know that? Very simple, adept. The seals at the basis of those statues show a scorpion and a spider. Those were the spirit totems claimed by Malil's chief generals. Sadina and Rashomta. Sure, okay, let's go. Activate the seal. So we need to go like inside here then. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I can already see. My life for Malil. My bear will get you. There you go. 
Rashonta's statue will be marked with the spider seal. Okay. Then we shall activate the spider. That's this one. No, don't talk to- on the right path, Adam. Spider seal. Okay. A lucky feat, mortal. The staff is still mine. I'm not sure how good I feel about stealing these um, these things from uh, like graves and whatnot for Shalador. We don't even know what he wants to do with them. I'm not sure if we're doing the right Sadina's thing here. That's all I'm saying. Have the scorpion seal at its base. That's all I'm saying. I'm not sure if we're actually doing the right thing here, but uh, we'll just go along with it. Ah, scorpion seal. Okay, now all the statues will point to the middle. Okay. The crystals hum with power. Go to the center. You should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. Okay. You dare open my tomb? Come then and feel the side's blade. Okay. This is supposed to be a very, very powerful warrior, right? Like, he even got the, the nickname The Sight Of. You don't get that for no reason. So, who am I to think that I can just beat that? Insect! You will never hold the staff! Never! <laughs> that voice. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, watch me, I guess. I, I doubt it, my dude. Yeah, I would I would appreciate if you just stood in my eyes though. Yeah. I'd guess Haskell will be waiting outside. Let's go. I guess. I'm not sure how good I feel about all of this. Can I get the aura that he has? Like I would really like to have this amount of particles around me as well. I really dig that. Maybe one day. Hey, Haskell. Convenient for you to show up here. Another successful retrieval, I see. Yeah, I got stuff. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord would have a word with you. Ooh, all right. Sure. All right, bye. Send location. Ooh, yay, back ah, to the world. right on time. Welcome back. Mm, thank you. Hi, Shergorath. Look, Haskell! Wow. Marky's back! Oh, it's so nice to see him again! <laughs> oh, uh, good to see you too, Mortal, I guess. I guess. I mean, I can understand. Forks are amazing, yes. Wonderful! I'll just take... <gasps> Forky. Oh, I miss you so much, Forky. Does like Let's a fork. Let's never, never be parted again. Oh, it gives me goosebumps just to hold it in my hand again. <laughs> okay. What about stuff? Ah, the Wabajack. Ooh. Belial held it down in that dusty tube for so long. Say, why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand and use it on some of these holier than thou temper types. Uh, what am I signing up for? Ah, no need to worry, you pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. Uh -huh. The unrecognized essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the. Look, you want the book? Whack some folks with a Wabajack! Okay, if you insist. I mean, we can't really say no to a Wabajack, right? Let's equip the Wabajack. Um, and... I just do... This? Oh! Will it attack me? Yes, it will. Okay. Can I hit it again? Oh, yeah, I can. And then it's gone. Okay. Alright, next. Who else needs a wobba checking? Wait, that sounded really wrong. 
Never mind that I said that. <laughs> Never mind. Five people in total. Oh, they became a chicken. Block, block. Um. That statue. Okay, can we use it on Haskell? No. Can we use it on Sheogorath? No. Unfortunate. Oh, it's already done. Do I want to make more people disappear? It's fun. Can we use it on, she on Shadador? No. Okay, fair enough. I tried. A bit rusty, but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. Sure. <laughs> I'll be needing that back now. Here it is. And as promised, Debok. Well, go ahead. Take it. Thanks. Once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tavriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no? oh. Simply hold your breath. Close your eyes and count to, uh, let's say, a million. A million? I don't think I can count that far. Uh, wait, do I need to equip my own uh, stuff again? I do. There you go. Ah, what's the book? The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter. All right. Oh. Oh, this is like some shining stuff, you know. All work and no play. Uh... <laughs> okay. Happiness is loneliness. Oh, it just goes on and on and on like that. Okay. Interesting. These these spaces, these are the, the ominous things, right? Like Oh, loneliness is happiness. Okay, okay. They're shaking it up a little. Okay. Oh, yeah, and it ports us back. Alright, the last I got your book. Ah, you've returned. Do you have the second book? Oh, you sound not okay. Are you okay? Here's the book, though. Excellent. The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter? That's quite a title. I'll begin my research immediately. Can't wait to get to it. Alright, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait until Shadowler pops up again. Somewhere here, I hope. There it is. Oh there, Adept. Hello. Well met, Adept. We uh, we are in need of your assistance. Has Velas translated the latest book? Sort of. Oh. Velast has translated Sheagorath's tome, but we're having some trouble understanding it. She may need your assistance. Seek her out as soon as you can. My assistance? I don't think I can help, but where can I find her? Velast is working the problem out of the Stormhold Guild Hall. See you there, Adept. Storm, Stormhold Guild Hall. Okay. Uh, why is this one proving so difficult? The Mad God is a deranged skeever. That's why it's proving so difficult. There's not so much actual text. The last two have had clues we could use to unravel his nonsense. This one is nothing but nonsense. Okay. Uh, okay. What exactly is it she expects? Where herbs, relics? Are we? We need to go here. Okay, I actually have a house here, and I can just go there. So uh, why don't we uh, do a mini house tour <laughs> as I move to the next uh, next best location? That house is empty, by the way. Most of my houses have absolutely nothing in there, like they used to be a main house and then I took all the furniture out and I placed them somewhere else. Like this, I, I used this as my main house for a while because, well, I am an Argonian main obviously and I do like more um, Argonian style uh, architecture, I guess, but there's absolutely nothing in here. 
Also, it's very small. Like, if you are really into decorating, this house is probably not enough for you. I never really decorate the inside of houses. I like to decorate the outside. So I like to have a big open space where I can just put a lot of um, foliage, plants, bushes, shrubs, flowers in. And I don't really care so much for actual furnishing. Like, if there's one thing I hate, it's a house with walls. <laughs> the more walls, the more terrible I feel because it's just too... Realistic to modern to real life. I don't know. I, I like my my fantasy hut basically uh, So I prefer to decorate the outside and make it a little bit more my aesthetic Instead of having a house where it's like and this room is the kitchen and this room is the bathroom And, and I don't really like any of that. I don't like normal conventional houses They're boring. It's uh, uninspiring. It's not fantasy enough for me, I guess but I do appreciate when I see a, a very well decorated house, even if it is a house with actual walls and all that, um, I can still appreciate it, obviously. Like how some people decorate the houses is absolutely amazing. And I could never do that. Like I am one of those type of decorators that will put everything to the side and then call it a date. <laughs> I also am more of a practical decorator. Like I like to have everything um, that I need, like my merchants, for example, they're all lined up here. I got my storage. Uh, I, I can change my build, I can deconstruct, I have a bank and I have a merchant. Uh, I like to have all my crafting tables neatly placed together. And uh, I need to zone in, be able to do what I need to do and then go out again. Like I don't really use my house for anything other than that. And for free teleporting, obviously. If I don't have a, uh, a way shrine nearby, I would, just, um, I would just use the house teleporter for free instead. Let's see. I'm going to park myself right in front of the last. Hopefully she's in here. Um, there she is. Hi. Right. Cool. Alright, well that's... Um, I think this is a nice stopping point. We've done one more quest towards... Uh, the major skill quest line. So this is where I shall call the episode. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Looks good. Alright. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Link in the description below if you want to help out the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.